Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents against Dolph Ziggler. contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from st petersburg russia weighing in at Guys, I think you can safely say that Dolph Ziggler is one of the most talented competitors on the roster. A superstar gets a certain feeling. He knows there's a strong possibility he may exit the match in a completely different condition than he entered. That's not exactly a comforting thought. Quick 10 attempt here. And Dolph Ziggler quickly kicks out. Might have slipped there, Cole. Flags him with a clothesline. Oh, yeah, here's Dolph Ziggler. Look at the pain on his face after that neck breaker. him off guard. Dolph Ziggler gets the shoulder up. Very nice. Ouch! After a move like that, he's going to need to see a chiropractor or a spine specialist. Whatever he's comfortable with. No pun intended, of course. How's that for ferocious? It's like someone hit the repeat button for this move. Uh. with the reversal. Oh, and he's one step ahead on that one. Can he end it quickly? Dolph Ziggler with an easy kick out there. Just needs to do more damage. Ziggler is pushing forward. One. Dolph Ziggler's not gonna like this. Oh yeah, here's Dolph Ziggler. Two. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. Three. Oh boy, he is rolling. Look at this. There is absolutely no wasted motion in this attack. Five. Six. 
Now there's the counter. Running out of time here. Oh, come on. Get in there. Oh, I think this man means business. Eight. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher. And the takedown brings him off his feet. The face is absorbing a lot of damage here. Four. Five. The body's taking some abuse here, but nothing that can't be shaken off. Two. He is a one-man gang in there. Just look at this man. He's all business. Six. Another electric crowd on hand here for SmackDown, Six. as has been the no Wow, I thought he was a goner. Eight. He wants no part of the outside. Here is Dolph Ziggler in position now. Just a matter of time now before this superstar goes for the finisher. And when that happens, you can bet this one's over. Incredible! Guys, when you have as trained an eye as I do, you get to a point where you can see the finisher coming before it actually comes. And let me tip you off to something here. It's coming, and it's coming very soon. He misses on that one. Were his eyes even open? Now that's striking with pinpoint accuracy. You can't take too many of those. Giving up the body on the lunge and brutal spear to take him down. Can he score the pin? I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like these superstars are on their last legs here. Given their performances tonight, it's too bad one of these superstars has to walk out of here on the losing end. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. This is it. And he lands a nice counter. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. There it is! The zigzag! Ziggler has... And this has got to be it. This singles contest has a victor. Here is your winner, Dolph Ziggler. Talk about having to dig down deep to pick up the win. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. And it's matches like this one that makes SmackDown such a success. Thank you so much for joining us.
The fatal four-way matchup is next and sure to be off the charts. This is going to be awesome. Making his way to the ring from St. Petersburg, Russia, weighing in at 262 pounds, the superstar. Guys, there is so much intrigue here heading into this fatal four. of Jay Uso has and from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at one hundred eighty pounds. Ryder looking to be in great shape for this one, guys. Yeah, I don't think Zack Ryder skipped too many leg days. And let's not forget about his opposition who also comes into tonight looking to prove a point. Well, I should hope so, Cole. If you don't go into every single match looking to make a statement, then you're just wasting everybody's time. Men in the ring are set. One of the most chaotic contests a superstar can compete in is a fatal four-way. Anything can happen, and the match can be over in an instant. The referee's gonna have his hands full in this one. Officiating a one-on-one -on -one match is hard enough. Attack on the jaw. And a leg lock here. Not much chance of escape. Back now inside the ring. There he goes, crashing to the floor. That was simply unadulterated power. And he comes crashing down. Delivered a beautiful uppercut, man. That had some force behind it. Great move there, guys. Here it comes, he's got him. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. 
And Zack Ryder may be in a bad way here. He needs to make sure he doesn't get double or even triple teamed here. At this point, it's still anybody's match, Cole, but he's got to be careful not to take too much more punishment here if he wants to be the one walking away with the win. Zack Ryder turns it around. His shoulders are down. Just look at this man. He's all business. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Here is your winner, Rich Swan. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a very big win here tonight. I really believe any... Up next, we'll see two teams who are on collision course, and it's happening right here. We have a team led by a real fan favorite versus American Alpha. Everything is in order. Let's get it started.
Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. All the budding tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage. Better be watching this match with a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be a lesson in how it's done. And just listen to this Birmingham crowd as this one gets underway. They're deafening. How about we touch on Randy Orton a bit? It's a tag team match, so the parts are sometimes greater than the whole. What can we expect here? Since a two-on-two -two match can go one of two ways, the most important thing is that you and your partner move like a well-oiled machine. If there's no continuity, you're done before the bell rings. We know he has a skill to raise his game in there whenever he chooses to, and the situation may call for it ultimately, but that's up to him. Check out Chad Gable's offense. One move after the other. It's devastating. I have to tell you, the RKO from Randy Orton is a thing of beauty. Well, unless you're the one who's getting dropped by it. The Apex Predator's speed and power are just the beginning because an RKO can occur at any moment. That's a great example of teamwork right there. Chad Gable. He goes for the quick pin attempt. Needs to make it to the corner here, Cole. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Corey, it still amazes me how quickly Randy Orton can strike an opponent with the RKO. Obviously, the WWE Universe feels the same way since the hashtag out of nowhere trends on social media whenever the Viper uncoils. It doesn't matter if an opponent is behind Randy Orton, in front of him, attacking him. The Viper is always one RKO from victory. Oh, there's some good contact there by Randy Orton. Randy Orton has found an answer here. You see Jason Jordan on his heels a bit here. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? Oh, there's some good contact there by Randy Orton. Ain't no stopping him now. Orton stopped. Randy Orton has done it. Nobody does it quite like him. Nobody strings together a series of moves better, Cole. Every step Randy Orton takes has a purpose. Every moment has a meaning. The Viper's sole objective is to take his opponent out. He has him right where he wants him. Looks like Randy Orton has broken a sweat. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Seeing the Viper stalk his adversaries is chilling. For some of the Viper's fallen opponents, the snap of the RKO is more than the beginning of the end of the match. When it comes to the danger in crossing paths with Randy Orton, you have the family lineage of a third-generation superstar running through his veins, and you have Venom, and that's a devastating combination. He's going to have bruised ribs after that one.
Not sure if he can sustain this, but it's sure fun to watch right now. No, there's the reversal. Chad Gable is being outworked here tonight. Where do you think he should go from here? This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. Hey, he can still win this thing, guys. We've all seen him come back from much worse. Oh, and the ref gets absolutely floored. Yeah, but let's be honest, a light breeze would knock him over. Oh boy, he is rolling. Counter here. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. And Gable is feeding off the WWE Universe. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win. He's on his heels. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. It's make or break time here, and he absolutely has to find a way to get back on the offensive if he wants to win this match. He's making a statement. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. No reverses it. He's looking very overwhelmed out there. He needs to find a way to create some space or else this thing's over. I can't say I expected to see this tonight. It's not every day you see a guy as talented as him take such a beating. You know, guys, I've always liked how much pride he has, which is what makes watching this so difficult. He's pressing all the right buttons now. He is a one-man gang in there. Flips the script on him there. Not so fast. Chad Gable is in a world of hurt, people. Unless this thing turns around here, this tag team match is all but over. Things have really gone from bad to worse for him here, guys. He's going to need to make a tag sooner rather than later. And you get the feeling that he's not going to look back at this match with great fondness. This one's over, guys. Will this be it? What an incredible tag team contest. Here are your winners. The Superstar and the Viper, Randy Orton. That's a big win. Although there was a moment there where I thought it was going to go the other way. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for the three count. And it's matches like this one that make SmackDown such a success. Thank you so much for joining us.